Okay, so hello everyone, my name is William. Today's video, today I'm going to show you my blog spot page. Okay? Because I'm finally done with it now. I'll put some more stuff on there. I think every Wednesday or Tuesday, depends on if I have time or. So you can see is that this is my profile in my blog spot page. So you can say about me, my gender is I'm male. My industry is education. My occupation is math, you know, mathematics. The location is I live in Ontario, California, and, and my home country is the United States of America. And, the, and those links, well, they'll just take it to YouTube anyway. The introduction is, is I make videos about the Bible, creation, video games, and foreign languages. And then this is the Bible, creation, video games, and foreign languages. My favorite movies are Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, and Power Rangers. The music is Christian music. Now, <clears throat> I don't sing songs. I just listen to them. And I rarely listen to music. I more than just play video games. And my favorite book is the Bible. And I put the question here right here for the description here. Do you know for sure you're going to heaven when you die? It's just a question. I have right here. Um only fifty five people saw my profile, which is good. I joined Blogger in February 2016, <clears throat> and I have my web page right here. So, um, um, you can see this right here. Yeah, I've asked me foreign languages, but which ones? Well, well, right now I'm learning. Well, right now, the only foreign language I'm learning right now is Spanish. But I will learn some other ones soon. I don't know which ones yet. I have to guess. But do I learn do I want to learn any other romance languages after Spanish? Because I know well first of all Spanish is a romance language, but do I want to learn any other ones? Well, no. But let me tell you something. I do know a few words in French and Italian. I don't know any word in Portuguese or or Romanian. Now it is true that if I become fluent in Spanish, uh, um I can, you know, oh it is <clears throat> well it is true that French, Italian, or Portuguese, Romanian, well, it is true that I could pick up those languages after Spanish, but it could also be more confusing as well. Why? Because they sound, because, first of all, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Romanian, they sound so similar to each other. They sound very similar to Spanish, for one thing. They sound pretty similar. Which can be confusing as well. To find out which language it is it is. So probably I'll just get more the I'll just get so my oh of course it might be easier to pick up, but also it might be confusing as well. I'm probably not going to um so my answer is do I want to learn any other romance language after Spanish? Do I want to learn Portuguese or Italian? do I want to learn French? And Italian or Portuguese Romanian after Spanish, my answer is no, because I don't want to get confused. Of, I, I don't want to get confused on what language I'm speaking. You know, those will be easier to pick up. I just, just don't want to. And plus, there's many people that speak French or Italian. Or Portuguese or Romanian, where I live anyway. So I, to me, I don't think I want to learn them anyway. Now, what I would like to learn is the now. Now, 
The only Spanish I like to learn is Mexican Spanish. I like to visit Mexico when I get older. It's the first country I would like to visit, you know. And then I might visit Canada after. So that's the so the so Canada might be the first country I'd like to visit, you know. Then. But if I want to pick which language I'll learn after, well, I don't know, but I do see on YouTube the East Asian languages do look do sound pretty amazing. Um Let me think about it. Because I don't know. I'm gonna have to guess. Well, I'm not sure about Japanese because I know I don't want to learn Korean, but I'm just thinking about Japanese for a minute. I don't know. Um, what is there people in the United States that speak Japanese? And you know, so maybe not. I don't know. Now, what about the Chinese languages? I don't want to learn Mongolian, so that's why I'm thinking of the Chinese languages. Well, here's one thing. I don't want to learn Cantonese because it's harder in Mandarin. It has six to nine tones. So if I want to pick which Chinese language I want to learn, I'll probably learn Mandarin. Because it only has four to five tones, and you know, I can work on with that just fine. Now, now, do you think learning the Mandarin would be a problem with me? Well, I don't know, but you can see that, but you can see that that my sound. Well, let me get this straight here. I know. I do have a call. Well, well, my accent is Californian. I was born in Oregon, but I've been living in California for a long time, and I've been, I grew up in California. I grew up, I grew up having a Californian accent. If my English and my Spanish is going to sound Californian, then I believe that my Mandarin will sound Californian too. And there it is. Yes, it will sound Californian too. And to me, I believe that's okay because, you know, you know, I believe it's pretty common to hear, I think, Californian English and Californian, I mean, Californian, I don't, American accent English. A Californian accent, American English. And then Californian accent, Spanish. What about Californian, but, you know, but. But if you want to hear, Californian accent Mandarin Asian language I I don't know that may be pretty I believe Chinese people can still understand it but But my sound a little bit weird because it's a, it's in a California accent. Oh yeah, and, and, and same thing for Japanese as well. But if I want to pick one, yeah. Well, why would I? Why would pick Mandarin? Well, first of all, the Chinese culture is more massive than, than the Japanese culture, and it's more massive than the Korean culture as well. And that's why I would pick Mandarin. Okay, now let's get to my videos about I'm sure you're on Blogger because you know Blogger is something I want to. So I put 
So you can see what happened last video right here, which is about Buddhism. That's what I put right here. And you can see what kind of pictures I put. So I put some Buddhist statues. I put some Buddhist temples. I put what and I put the flag of what country um, Buddhism got started from, which is in India, which is in which is in India, and then um. And then, and then for Hinduism, I did the same thing. I just put the pictures. I just put Hinduism exposed. I put the pictures of the Hindu gods, a, hin, a picture of a Hindu temple, and I put, and I put the flag of which country Hindu got started from, which is in India. You know, for Lutheranism, I did the same thing, and then I put the. I just put. Uh, Martin Luther and then Mary worship and then and then the German flag for Pentecostalism it started in my home country so I don't have to put the United States flag and I have to put what Pentecostals I have to put what Pentecostals do So you can see there's different kinds of stuff I put on my blog spot page. Because I need to find out and show you what the Bible says about these false religions and why these false religions are teaching wrong about what the Bible says. Now, I haven't now I talk about Christmas later stuff, but I'll talk about the next religions, the false religions we're talking about will be Taoism and Shintoism. You know, Taoism. Which will be, which is, you know, a false religion that started in ancient China, and then Shintoism, which is a false religion that started in ancient Japan. And I'll talk about that, and I will talk about what, why these religions are wrong. For Taoism, I'll talk about why this religion is wrong, and what language, and what you can learn from. And what and what you could learn from China, anyway. To me, to me, I, to me, if you want to, you could learn the most spoken Chinese language Mandarin if you want to get Chinese people saved and get them to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And they can do it here in the United States of America. Now, what about for Shintoism? Sorry, what about, well, that's a legend that started in Japan, ancient Japan. But, yeah, ancient Japan. But you can also learn, um, but yeah, you can you can learn Japanese if you want to, and you get Japanese people saved if you want to. There's that many Japanese people here in, in my home country, in the United States, of America. But I still have to find out. But me, but I still want to know. But I would like to know. Yeah, but we have to make. But I, I do have a question in that video. Um, saying now, uh, which cities in Japan are more receptive to the gospel of Jesus Christ? Because I don't know. You might have to tell me in the comments below. I'll talk about all of the space soon too, and I'll talk about the plans for solar system. I'll talk about Yeah, I don't celebrate Groundhog Day because superstition. I celebrate regular New Year's. I don't celebrate Chinese New Year, but I will talk about it soon. I might celebrate it. I don't know when I get older. I don't know. I have. I would like to learn more about other cultures of the of in this country. I do want to learn more about the Chinese culture as well, but I have to learn. I still have to find out. I'll probably have to visit the Chinatowns in in California to find out. Because you know, I believe the Bible. I think what the Bible says. If you want to see my other posts, well, they're right here. So you can see right here, this is my blog spot page. If you want to go to my blog spot page right here, it's called williah14.blogspot.com. So if you want to see, this is my first blog spot page. Here. Here. That's just, um, this is a, these are just videos that got censored from YouTube, and these are videos that got muted from YouTube. So I believe. So these videos right here are just videos that got banned from YouTube. And these are just pictures. 
And they'll also show just videos of me and Jonathan Guzman. And these are just videos um, of my podcast. And here's some, and that's a video about how to go to heaven. So these are all my videos, my podcasts right here. And those are my videos about uh, more of um, uh, more social media stuff. And you go all the way to here. These are more. There's no comment on them so far, as you can see. Going back to here. So those are my um. Okay, so those are my all my videos I have right here. And I'll post them on and I'll pull on a post them on blog spot every week. Okay, so you can get to see if you want to know what the video I'm talking about is about anyway. I'll also have pictures of them. You know, but you know, but this is where you can also watch my videos on YouTube. Now, I'll also put the website on there, but if you want to click on the website. I'll do is just click on it. Now it will ask if you want to leave YouTube. If you know you're running on YouTube, you're on Blogger. All you do is click on and go to the site, and you're there. And that's how to get there anyway. If you want to click on the YouTube video, it will be, it will be right here. You just click on it. No, hit the video for you. You see, it will hit the video for you if you click on it. So. I don't have any comments on my blog spot page. If you can make one, if you you can't even want to. And this website is, and plus this website is free anyway. Now you you don't have to pay for it. So you can you know, plus you can make your own blog spot page and put stuff over here too. And you don't have to pay for it because it's free. Now I know a lot of people. Will, there's a lot of YouTube videos that talk about Squarespace and Wix, but those things cost money. You know, you brought off. I brought off using Blogspot. And Well, and I have to talk about which ones I already talked about because I already talked about Bitch Dude. I talked about um, Talk about myself. I have, and I talk about my Facebook account. So maybe after Blogger, I'll talk about. I'll probably might talk about my Twitter account, and I'll talk about my Instagram account, and I'll probably talk about my my about my, my about my MySpace account. After, so you can go to so you can go to those and start. Um, you can, you can, 
if you want to um if you want to um tweet me about something on Twitter or you can also um or you can also talk to me on through Instagram. Or you can also talk about, or you can ask me something about MySpace. You know, those are my pages I have anyway. Anyway. I think also I think also my I think also the other web pages we'll be talking about soon as well. And you have to go right now. So I hope you might like I hope you like my blogspot page. And hopefully you can learn more about the Bible here if you want to. And you have to go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Oh, you enjoyed the bye.